Uh, joining yeah. me right now is AccuWeather Chief Meteorologist Jonathan Porter. Uh, John, it was back on Saturday. We saw the probability with the likelihood of severe weather. And when you take a look at the storm reports, this is exactly what we feared. This is the worst case setup that we were concerned about with uh, several hundred wind damage reports. Those are on the purple and then uh, many, many tornadoes. And as you mentioned, there have been dozens reported already. That number may double. And they were some of these were particularly intense, as you saw from that very significant damage in Greenfield and that tragedy that happened there. Yeah, John, let's 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 go to that. Uh, the local radar here. Uh, let's t go to that Greenfield. Uh, there's Greenfield, by the way. I'm going to zoom out for a second just to give everybody an idea. There is here's Des Moines. So about 50 miles to the west southwest. We take you in the central Adair County here. And that's where we are looking at the city of Greenfield. Let's zoom on in, John, and let's go over what you see. There's Greenfield. And uh, boy, point out the thunder, point out the tornado on the radar here. Right, here's a very strong signature uh, indicating that uh, tornado right approaching the Greenfield area. This is a town of about 2,000 people, and uh, the tornado uh, went right directly over uh, the Greenfield area. And we can see that in detail when we look at the winds. Yeah, take look a look at the storm relative velocity, John, yeah. Right, and this is where we're looking at the winds and the low levels, low levels of the atmosphere. And you can see the circulation center right in here. A strong radar signature for a tornado heading right to Greenfield. Yeah, and then I'm going to take this right over the Greenfield area, yeah, John. Right Let's see? zoom in. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in here. At, uh, talk about a tight couplet right now. Right, and when you hear meteorologists talking about a couplet, that's the, the difference between these red colors here and green colors in close proximity to, the, to each other. Those are winds coming toward the radar and away from the air radar in close proximity. That in, in, indicates a very significant circulation associated with the uh, severe thunderstorm and tornado. I want to show you the correlation coefficient, John, and this is where we start talking about debris. This is as, as, as strong as a signal as you'll see. This is a, almost a worst case scenario when a meteorologist sees this kind of a debris signature. All these blues are indicating all kinds of different materials in the air. The radar can actually sense that. And, it can t and it, this is debris. It's uh, parts of trees, parts of buildings, unfortunately. And that's an indication that you have a strong tornado on the ground. We saw reports, Bernie, that, that debris was lofted way up in the atmosphere and fell out a couple of counties away from Greenfield. That shows you just how intense this tornado was. In fact, John, let's take a look at this. Here's our debris ball. You can see that in the middle. I want viewers, let's follow. I'm going to go backwards in time, and you can see when this tornado actually started. We are now, that blue is now in Adams County, southwest of Adair County, so that's south of Greenfield here. We'll take it all the way into the southwestern part of Greenfield. There's the beginning of it right there. I'll draw it here, John, so you can see it a little better here. So this is the beginning of where this tornado went on the ground, right in here. I'm going to circle it, John, and then watch this as let's take this forward. You could follow that blue going, 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 going. I'm going to, I'm going to bring this down a little bit here, a little farther off to the south here for a second here. And what you can see is, is that blue just, well, let me just continue to go forward here. That blue just continues all the way into the northwestern part of Adair County here. And John, watch this. Let's measure this. Let's measure this. And this is the concern we have. It's right. called the Almost long track tornado. 50 miles, that's right. Yeah. So that indicates just how long this tornado may have been on the ground and how intense it was. This damage looks to me like some of the worst tornado damage we've had in the country since the Mayfield, Kentucky uh, EF4 back in December of 2021. Let's go back, John, and again, we can show that thunderstorm as a continued move to the south and to the southeast. And right again, we'll take it right over um, right over uh, Adair County here. That is Adams County. Let's go a little farther north and you can see by about 3.30 or so as we zoom on in, John, there is that thunderstorm as it approached Greenfield area. So John, when you look at this damage, you feel pretty comfortable that it was an EF3 if not an EF4. 
It looks that way, and remember the ground study will, uh, will tell us definitively that it looks like EF3 or EF4 damage on quick look. There was a research radar in the area doing a field mission, and it detected winds above 200 miles per hour, which of course is the threshold for EF5, but that was 600 to 1,000 mm -hmm. feet above the ground. And remember, the damage on the ground is what dictates the intensity of the tornado on the enhanced Fujita scale, so we're gonna have to wait for that ground survey. All right, uh, AccuWeather Chief Meteorologist John Porter. John, thanks for joining us uh, here again. Uh, just another devastating day. We've had to cover this too many times this year. We have.